Hey up and welcome back to Football Manager for the stream and for YouTube. We are here with the start of the long term save. If you're watching on YouTube, then it was spoiled by the title. If you're watching on Twitch, then it was spoiled by <laughs> the title. We have decided we're going to do a save and we're going to start a Sully Hall. That is the key point. We are starting at Sully Hall. There is. The idea is we're not. We are. We're Fargrip Mound. So Fargrip Mound is a guy that's been around on the channel for a while. Um, Fargrip Mound loves money. Insert Mr. Krabs. Money, 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 money. Like, <laughs> he loves money. And so his aim is to just make as much money as he can. So if a better job comes along, it's going to pay him more. He'll take it. If a worse job comes in, he's going to pay him more. He's going to take it. So this is Fargrip Malm. So he has his Continental Pro license. So as you can see, 20s in tactical, technical, mental, and working with youngsters. Kind of. He's not a coach. <laughs> he's not a coach at all. Um, but he was a Sunday League footballer. He wasn't even a Sunday League footballer. I don't even know if Fargrip Malm actually knows the rules of football. But what we do know is he is manager of Sully Hall. He's earning £1,100 a week. He's got a one-year deal. And as you can see, he's very good at management and motivating. He's good at people. He, he's good with dealing with people. The rest of it, awful. <laughs> so I've done a load of work off camera for this. And I'm going to warn both stream and YouTube. This is go. There is. I have paper. I, there is a lot of admin to go through. So let's just start with staffing situation. We've bought in a load of staff, so we'll get to them. We are Our under-21s is still lacking lots of staff. No one is interested in the job. But we have below-average training facilities. Great youth facilities, which is good. We rent the stadium, and it, we pay 10% of our gate receipts. We have good academy coaching and above-average youth for recruitment. So bringing young players is great. And it's great for Fargrip because you know, you know, he loves money. So bring them youngsters in, sell them on for a profit. We have a senior affiliate, which is Birmingham City. We're predicted sixth. We were predicted before any transfers. Uh, cohesion's poor. We have one team leader. We have no clauses to sell. We are 200 grand in debt and we're paying five grand a month. Our best player and our highest earning player is out all year with a viral infection. Um, projection is bad. Uh, then we go to... So, we had a relatively successful pre-season. Um, if we just go to staff. So, the staff that we bought in was... Head of Youth Development? No, we had that. <laughs> well, we bought in Joe McLaren... Paul Molesworth and, uh, as scouts, James Baum as a sports scientist, Sean Doherty as a chief scout, Ian Liversidge came in as a physio, Shane Nicholson came in as a fitness coach, Wes Brown came in as a coach, Jamie Borley came in as a head of sports science, and then Dean Edwards came in as our under-18s manager, and we've got Gareth Thomas in as an under-18s. Um... So that's two bits of paper done. So pre-season, let's just have a look at the schedule. So as you can see, we got four wins, a draw and a loss. And the draw and a loss came against two teams who are a lot better than us. The first game, um, we, I'm, do you know what? I wrote all this down and I don't feel like I need to. I feel like I need to just explain what happened. Um, basically, we are playing... so. I came into a club that had no wingers whatsoever and no one that could play on the wing. No one with any paces in this squad. And so it was, okay, let's set up a 4-4-2 a in a diamond and rely on the wing backs. Both wing backs, Newton is really good at delivering a ball. Um, that's where we're going to see that he's not. Um, oh, there you go. 12 crossing, 12 dribbling, but he lacks pace. <laughs> Like, he's really good at whipping a ball in, but he can he, he just doesn't get there. Uh, and Ben on the right side has the pace, and but lacks technically. 
and kind of defensively. So that doesn't help. We have Richard Stearman. And can we just talk for a second, right? This man's career started in two... He made his debut in 2004. And this guy's at the club. The club is old. There is a lot of old players here. Um, Jamie Osborne likes to sit in there. And then we have Maycock and Warburton. And the idea is that they... Maycock shuttling, kind of linking up the play. And Warburton is supposed to get wired, but he doesn't. <laughs> Uh, we should have a look at him. He's got physically, he's not great. He's thirty-one. Um, Taraj is a signing that we've bought in on loan. We had him in the Dagenham save a couple of years back, and he left Spurs, went to Burnley. Burnley said we could take him on loan, and I was like, Do you know what? A creative player is definitely something we need. Is he? I think he's on attack. You know, he's got a bit of flair, kind of can dribble, can. He's got a good first touch. We need one of the other things was we needed numbers. We had twenty one players in the squad, um, and then up front is I've actually got it written down. Where is it? Where is it? So in preseason, Osborne scored one goal. Taraj scored three. Stearman got one. Uh, Kajovi got one. Simmons got one. Warburton got two. Kelly got two, and Beck got three. Josh Kelly is the key man. Oh my god, he's wanted. Wickham won him. Oh. He's been... Well, he's got two goals in pre-season. I'm pretty sure he didn't play too many. Yeah, look, he got three goals and two subs. And he got two assists. <laughs> he looks like he's going to be kind of the main guy to spearhead our attack. Um, Got him on a... Oh, if Wickham won him... Was it Wickham? Yeah, if Wickham won him, they're going to actually pay money for him. So that could help us <laughs> but yeah he's been very good for us you know he's kind of trifecta there is kind of good and he's got a bit of pace about him um beck is 29 six foot five he's an out and out target forward he's done all right a, a lot of a lot of our best play through preseason came from crosses to the back post from ben to beck or kind of route one um, if we go to transfers, there's been a few. Oh, we're bringing in a goalkeeping coach and assistant manager in Edward Metgod and De Hoyer. We're, hate, we're waiting on what's it. So transfer history, we came in here. So we've only brought three players in. So we've got Ronaldo Taraj. Hamzid Cargo has joined us on loan. He he got his first start. He pulled his hamstring. So he's he's missed all the preseason. But six or six... We've actually agreed that he's going to be the advance forward, which is probably questionable. Um, he he lacks a little bit. Oh, they've done him dirty for pace. Okay, he is an out and out target man. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's an out and out target man. He's got done bad, but then he can also play as a po chart. So he's come in. What's it? And then we had one goalkeeper at the club. One goalkeeper, which is Simkin on loan. And I was not impressed with him. Just didn't feel like he was particularly... As you can see, he conceded six goals in four games in pre-season. Um, so we brought in Alex Kovacevic on a free. Two and a half star current ability. Five star potential. He's been good. He said he hasn't played any competitive matches but I literally played him in the final two games you know more height in the team um and then on the outs I don't think any of these are up no none of these are us um there will there's a room for one more in and we looked at a couple can we see oh we can't see the failed damn it so we there was two that failed so one was this guy um, Callum C say I'm going to offer him a trial we agreed a contract with him and he chose to come to us but we fell into an issue with we could afford his wages but he had a wage rise based on games that he would have hit this season and it would have taken him to about two grand a week and I just can't afford it 
Um, and then the other one... Oh, here he is. So we agreed a transfer, and then we were going to pay real money for Oliver Shannon here. He's currently playing at Baller in Wales. And I wanted him... He wanted to come in as a backup, and I was very happy with that. And, you know, he's currently on 275. He came in asking for over a grand a week, and I was just like, that ain't happening. Like, for a backup, I can't give you a grand a week for a guy that... Yeah, he's aggressive, but, like, there was just nothing there. Um, I've got it on. All right, it's so unavailable. So we have some players. Oh, we also had... We had a lot of trialists. Where's that bit of paper gone? So, <laughs> these are the trialists that have already left. So we had Kevin Lisby, who was brought in to kind of as a meme, because it's Kevin Lisby, he's still going. Lee Freckleton, he wasn't good enough. Danny Simpson was good enough, but was too old, and right back isn't a position we're in dire need for. David Wheater, another meme. Nicky Maynard, lacked quality. Dean Parrott was too old. Dean Rance, when he did play, didn't play well. Lamine Sheriff, lacked quality. Jamie uh, Bowden, who's actually back on trial with us, doesn't believe we are financially capable of affording him. Congossia Clay wasn't wasn't the right fit. Uh, Joe Dudu just didn't fit either. Um, Caleb Chukwameka, he wasn't needed. And Tino Quamino, uh, we couldn't compete with the teams that were looking at him. So right now we have a few players on trial. I don't know who Richard Bryan is. I think we've just brought him in. We have Reese Bennett, used to play for Posh um, and Mansfield. Problem is we... Centre back is at a position we're screaming out for. Josh Harrop played a couple of games and looks really good. And the aim is to kind of keep him about all year and then look at trying to get him next season. This first season is going to be just just survive. Uh, Kendra Simmons, he's done a, he, he got a goal in two appearances. I just I don't know if I feel like we're we're kind of. All right, Phil, what's it? Jamie Bowden just looks insane for us, but yeah, no one's interested in him, but he doesn't want to negotiate with us. Jamil Bennett, I'm hoping for the same thing. There's no one interested in him. I'm hoping he can stay around for a year, play in our under-18s, and then next summer I'll get him. Same as this guy, Kajovi. Um, he looks insane for us. Uh, and then we've got Charles Hagen. I don't. Yeah, he didn't play. So uh, let me just show you Sabara as well. Sabara would be very good in this team, but yeah, viral infection, seven to eight months. Uh, I googled it. He had some kind of heart complications in preseason. Wouldn't negotiate ending his contract, and that's thirteen hundred quid a week. We could really do with. But yeah, so as you can see, our squad, if we remove unavailable players, our squad is not big. No, I don't, why, isn't it, why isn't it doing it? We have 22 men in this squad, plus one short-term injury. <laughs> and our best players are Richard Stearman, James Clark, and Osborne, Owen Kelly, who's now wanted. So <laughs> it's a worry. Realistically, we probably want to bring in another centre midfielder, and then I think... That will be our squad for the season. Financially, we're not in. We're not in the greatest place. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so if we just go back, have a quick look at the boss hits. Eversham, we were, we played them off the pitch. Uh, Chase Town, we were really bad in the first half. Walsall, we probably could have, we could have nicked a result there. We were a better team. A 3-2 defeat to Birmingham, I don't think. And they put out a strong team as well, like, isn't what's it. This Rangers game, okay. Okay, this uh, I'm gonna, we're going to go back to the Rangers game. And Tom Bridge, we played literally a bunch of trialists, so it was an awful, awful what's it. So, this is the formation I want to look at next season. There will be changes to it, because we haven't done too much with it. We played it. We weren't great. It was a really dull first half against Rangers. And then we switched to this and we bought on um, Janiel Bennett and the Spanish guy on the wings. And we tore Rangers B apart. And I was like, like we tore, it was, we were ripping through them. And I was like, 
if only we had the money in wages to bring in wingers. We just, we move on. So, yeah, schedule, uh, if we go competitions, Valorama National League, and then we go season preview, we're now expected, oh, we're still expected sixth. The board want a top half finish. And I think that's what we're going to aim for. I, I'll be surprised if we're in a position to push for promotion. Woking have got Rowan Ince. So, yeah. First game of the season for us is where we've got Eastley at home. So, let's get into this. Josh Haber is, is offended. What? Because you're a tryer, so you can't play in this game. I'm going to go Paul McCallum. We have a history with Paul McCallum. <laughs> All right, dressing room. It's important we make use of the home office. The players don't really like me, by the way, because I'm because I didn't have a career. They they don't care. Labadee aggressive. Never saw that coming. This is just Labadee who served. I think it was a six month ban for spitting at an opponent. But here is your lineup. I missed that completely. So let's just kick off. Skip. Oh, we were playing on extended. Let's go to key. I really hope this isn't an actual highlight. Maguire around it to Miller. Well done, Kelly. Striker getting back there. Warburton to Taraj. I'm intrigued to see how he does this first game. Ben. Good ball to the back post to Beck. Heads well over. So your lineup for Sully Hall is Alex. Oh, I've got to sort this out. Uh, league table. It's Alex Kovacevic, J Ben, Richard Stearman, James Clark. I feel like I should do this like a proper announcer. It is number twenty-three, Alex Kovacevic. Number two, J Ben. Number four, Richard Stearman. Number five, James Clark. Number three. Joe Newton, number six, and your captain for this game, Jamie Osborne. Number eight, Mark Matt Warburton. Number 11, Callum Maycock. Number seven, Ronaldo Taraj. Number 18, Josh Kelly. And number nine, Mark Beck. Right, first proper highlight, Ben to Clark. <laughs> Warburton, back here to Stearman. Stearman's going to walk with the ball. Over to Clark. To Maycock. That was not good by Maycock. Why are you crossing a ball there to him? And Eastley have got this narrow at the back. Martin's going to... We're not a pressing team. We are We are like typical non-league football. Bowles went out here. Whipped in and Quig Scott Quigley makes it 1-0 after three minutes. And... It's not great. Osborne, why Why did we have three players all collectively there? He runs off the back of Stearman. And uh, Kovacevic has no chance there. <laughs> Even though, like, we, we seem to have a decent amount of the ball, which is terrifying. We've got a free kick here. Jamie Osborne steps over it. Oh, that is lovely. That is lovely. <laughs> what a free kick by uh, Jamie Osborne. Puts us one, uh, makes it one all. That blinding free kick. He is one of the players I think I've been impressed with enough that I think I could see him stay in next season. Depending on how old he is. Lovely. <laughs> Birmingham. It's lovely. Right, Stearman goes to Ben. Ben, bit of room to cross this ball in. It's going to, and Taraj at the back post. Taraj is not winning headers there. Newton to Taraj. He's going to pull it, but he pulls it back to make. After that early setback, we seem to have woken up a bit. Newton here to Beck, to Maycock, to Ben. Pulls it back to Warburton. And he sliced that open. <laughs> it was sliced like a piece of bread, that. <laughs> and it is 2-1. It's well-deserved as well. 
deck there, around some Maycock. Maycock just rolls it along. He doesn't even pick anyone out. He just knows that that's where he should be putting it. Ben pulls it back, and Warburton... I'm trying to think of toast puns. <laughs> Warburton with a corner. The referee is given a penalty. Panther pushes Clark. I think Osborne takes our penalties. Or is it... That's Warburton. And he sends the keeper the wrong way. That's two for the two slices for him. <laughs> he jams that in the corner. <laughs> He's got the best of both. <laughs> and it is half time in this game. That's Panda with a corner. Goes to the near post, gets headed out by Maycock. Panda picks up the loose ball. He's going to go here to Taylor to Martin. Here to Baldwin. Missed the tackle. He's going to take on his man. Whips across in. Quigley. Kovacevic makes a good save. Richard Seaman, you are not like... What are you doing, Kovacevic? Oh, Beck is through. Oh, good save by McDonnell. Did it, be, be, be. Oh, headed out. Clark to Raj. He's going to take on his man. Pulls it back to Maycock. And Callum Maycock makes it four to the Sully Hall. That was bloody lovely. <laughs> it's going to be the running joke. This is my awful Brummy accent. <laughs> the Reese is going to go, it ain't a Brummy accent. It's from Dudley. So Raj pulls it back. Maycock slides that in. Well lubricated. <laughs> Headed back out by Maycock. He may cock. He may shoot. And Jake Taylor with another makes it four two. It looks suspect from Kovacevic there. Uh, we head it out back to where it came from. Panther then gets it, lays it off to Taylor, just hits it and see with power. We won't judge Kovacevic too harshly for this. And they've made their final so We're going into stoppage time full time. We get a win. First game. Oh, that that started so badly, but you know, a masterclass from Warburton. He had him on. He had him on toast. So if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure you smash that like button down below, and you, uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for the journey that we're going on. If you're watching our stream, thank you very much for watching. I have been Justin, and you have had just enough.